are you going to try to uh, to stick with the iconic look, or are you going to try to go? With Hold on a moment. I already asked him this first thing this morning. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Let me let me fill you in on what's been happening. We we flew down here myself, my girlfriend Stephanie, and kids. We flew down on Thursday. Thursday evening we arrived. We sat down in the restaurant. Steph's Instagram is blowing up. She says to me, "Why is uh, Fearnet?" announcing that you're making, you're going to do the remake that Clive is writing. And I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it had blown up there. Within an hour, Fang Warrior is reporting that I'm doing the remake. By the time we were back up in our room, the Los Angeles Times is <laughs> <laughs> stating in the headline that I'm doing the remake. Here's as far as I know. Uh, and bear in mind that, that, that Dimension have been talking about remaking the movie for six years at least. Um, the Weinsteins have called Clive and said, We want this to happen. And Clive apparently has said yes. Uh, so he goes on his Facebook and tells the world about it. And in the course of that, he said that he had said to the Weinsteins, well, not, uh, whichever one, either one of them it was, uh, that he wanted me to come back, and they said okay. So that's where the story was based. I, I had to put a disclaimer on my Facebook straight away to say nobody has talked to me about it. Nobody has contacted me about it. I don't know anything about it. I can't be signed on to do it. Because I can't be in negotiations where there's nothing to negotiate. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, Clive has to pitch this to the Weinsteins first. We are at least two, three months away from the first draft. At that point, we might be able to start talking about it. Somebody also pointed out on Clive's Facebook, uh, said, okay, so this takes us back to where we were six years ago, when they announced the remake and you announced that you were writing it. What's changed? We'll see what's changed. I don't know. Um, I remain as implacably opposed to the idea of remaking Hellraiser as I ever was. I'm still selling my t-shirts. <laughs> Pinhead says, no remakes, please. It's a waste of good selling. Since you all like the idea of the t-shirts, they are available at the table. <laughs> So, if Clive writes the script, and there's an if attached to that, if Clive writes the script, if the Weinsteins want them, they may have said yes to Clive, but this is the Weinsteins we're talking about. You don't trust them as far as you can throw them. <laughs> if they want them, if I write the script, if the negotiations go well, then two things fall into place. One, I can't afford to walk away from a good payday. And B, if it's going to happen, I want to damn well do it rather than have somebody else do it. <laughs> I turned down the Hellraiser Revelations because it was being made for all the wrong reasons, seeing previous comments about the Weinsteins, and it was <laughs> attached, and the <coughs> screenplay sucked, and I have yet to hear you. Question. Uh, I have no idea. I mean, I will read the screenplay. Um, uh, there has been there's been a lot of talk about how Clive might be interested in revisiting uh, and had that um, one of the things I know that he had previously said to the Weinsteins, and, and this is a, a serious piece of conversation really about prosthetic makeup. Clive had said to the Weinsteins, "I fully support everything he says." Okay, in my opinion, you'd be insane not to use dumb, but we have to be realistic. He is 27 years older than when he first wore the makeup. And I'm not blessed with Robert Englund's small head and very tight flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I have quite, quite a heavy, loose skin, and time and gravity have done to me what time and gravity do. Clive had said to the Weinsteins, we should not try and fight that, we should embrace it. 
Let's make this an older, darker, tired, bitter of dinner. Maybe yeah. not so much. Yeah. That seems to work. <laughs> Maybe not so much in love with the one liners and the bon mots. You know. So uh, I, I would be fully in support of that. Dressing him in white robes has also been floated around as an idea. To me, white robes is Star Wars and does not do that. <laughs> um, uh, ultimately, how I would play him would depend on the script. The script dictates what you do, always. I wouldn't go into it with preconceived notions, in other words. But we are a long, long way away from me worrying about how I'm going to play it. End of discussion about the remake. <laughs> <laughs> Question in the back?